Phil Collins is one of the best known names in the music industry, but his health reportedly has taken a dramatic nosedive in recent years, leading to concerns that he may soon be forced into permanent retirement. Recently, Collins' family has spoken out about the state of his health. Join Facts First as we present Phil Collins' children are speaking out as his health gets worse. A Life of Accomplishments Phil grew up in West London and started playing drums at age five. After going to drama school, he secured a few acting roles as a child actor. His first major role was in a West End production of Oliver. This happened when he was 13. After that, he shifted gears and focused on a musical career instead. In 1970, he joined the band Genesis as their drummer. Eventually, he became lead singer after Peter Gabriel departed in 1975. In the 80s, Collins began a solo career. Throughout the decade, he grew into one of the most successful and celebrated pop and adult contemporary singers. He also became known for his signature gated reverb drum sound, which was prominently featured in a number of his recordings. Collins continued to enjoy lasting success throughout the 90s and 2000s, with his music frequently being featured in soundtracks. His song, You'll Be In My Heart, which appeared on the soundtrack for Disney's 1999 animated film Tarzan, earned him an Oscar for Best Original Song. After a long hiatus from performing with the outfit, Collins rejoined Genesis in 2007 for their Turn It On Again tour. He then took a five-year sabbatical to focus on his family before releasing an autobiography in 2016 and completing his Not Dead Yet tour in 2019. In 2020, Collins rejoined Genesis once again for a second reunion tour. The tour ended up getting drawn out by the COVID-19 pandemic and was plagued with cancellations and delays. It finally wrapped up, however, in March of 2022. Throughout his decade-spanning career, Collins has released eight studio albums that have sold more than 33.5 million units in the U.S. alone. It's estimated his global record sales are around 150 million units, making him one of the best-selling musical artists in the world. He is one of only three artists, alongside Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney, who have sold more than 100 million records both as a solo artist and as a member of a band. Additionally, he's been honored with numerous awards and accolades, including eight Grammys, two Golden Globes, six Brit Awards, and an Academy Award. In 1999, he was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and in 2010, he and his Genesis bandmates were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His health has been steadily declining. Collins has suffered from numerous injuries over the years that have affected his ability to play drums. In 2007, he sustained a spinal injury that left him with severe nerve damage. In 2009, he told the Daily Mail that the position he had his drums in led to his vertebrae crushing his spinal cord. After years of constant touring and recording, his spinal condition deteriorated to the point where it had become difficult for him to hold his drumsticks properly without excruciating pain. In an attempt to combat this, he admitted to even needing to tape the sticks to his hands just to make it through a set. In 2010s, Collins admitted he'd been suffering from depression and low self-esteem. He admitted to contemplating suicide at one point, but resisted it for the sake of his children. In 2016, he underwent spinal surgery to alleviate some of his physical discomfort. Sadly, after the procedure, he was still unable to drum with his left hand. At this point, his doctors advised him that if he wanted to play drums again, he would need to go through rigorous physical rehab. In Collins' 2016 autobiography, he acknowledged that he'd struggled with alcoholism following his retirement and third divorce. Fortunately, at that time, he'd been sober for more than three years. In 2017, he received treatment in a hyperbolic chamber after he developed an abscess on his foot that became very infected. Later that year, he canceled two shows after slipping in his hotel room and hitting his head on a chair. Following that fall, he needed stitches to close a gash close to his eye. The fall was caused by a condition called foot drop that he started suffering from after his back operation in 2015. In 2021, Collins gave an interview with BBC Breakfast in which he once again opened up about his health struggles. In that candid discussion, he revealed he could barely hold a stick with either hand. He added there were other physical factors that have gotten in the way of his playing as well, including type 2 diabetes. Although his health has prevented him from drumming in recent years, he has continued to sing at concerts. Collins' children speak out. Phil's son Nick Collins has followed in his father's footsteps by pursuing his own music career. Nick is a drummer in a rock band called Better Strangers. The group recently released a single called Rain Check, which is available at digital marketplaces and streaming services everywhere. 
In early 2022, Nick stepped in to play drums in place of his father during the Genesis tour, The Last Dominoes, which wrapped up in May. In that 2021 interview with BBC Breakfast, Phil said he'd love to be playing on stage with his son, but lamented the fact that his physical condition had prevented him from doing so. In the previous five years, Nick had often joined his father on tour, playing sold-out arenas across the U.S. and U.K. Nick said he enjoyed every second of the work he did with his father and with Genesis, but he's now at the point where he thinks he can stand on his own two feet as a musician and artist. While he loves his father deeply and appreciates the doors he's opened for him, Nick wants to prove to the world he's more than a capable artist on his own. Instead of taking advantage of his last name, Nick says that Better Strangers has always tried to put their best foot forward while not making a big deal of their connection to Phil and Genesis. His sister Lily Collins is also proving to the world she's a competent actress. In November, the Emily in Paris star told Vogue France that it was always out of the question for her to use her name as a free pass when establishing herself as an actress. While she's very proud of her dad, she has always wanted to be seen as her own person and not just as his daughter. Lily has found herself in the position where she is able to support her dad. In early 2022, she attended Genesis's final performance in March. She's also been very supportive of him as he's continued to struggle with his health. Recently, Lily shared the screen with Zac Efron in the 2019 drama Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. That same year, she played J.R.R. Tolkien's wife, Edith, in the biographical film Tolkien. In 2021, Collins announced she'd be producing a new children's film about the toy franchise Polly Pocket while also playing the titular role. Though she's found success in Hollywood, she acknowledges the fact that she's seen by many as a textbook example of a Nepo baby. Instead of accepting this label, however, Lily claims her success has nothing to do with her relationship with her famous father. Lily firmly believes she's achieved fame on her own through hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. In fact, she admitted that her relationship with her father has been quite complicated. She made sure to reiterate how proud she was of her father's work, but at the same time said she always wanted to be more than just the daughter of a world-famous musician. Because her father was off and gone when she was a kid, Lily never wanted to do anything that would make him stay away longer than he had to be. In truth, she missed him and wanted him to be more present in her life. This led Lily to develop deep resentment and insecurities that have followed her throughout her life. Fortunately, after going through ups and downs, Lily and Phil have finally come to put the past aside and focus on what they have currently. It's reported that the two are present in each other's lives and have worked through any past issues. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Phil Collins' health had deteriorated to the point where he can no longer play drums? Let us know in the comments section below.